If somebody have told me over 25 years ago, when I started building computers with my father, that a piece of tech that is 10 times faster than the best computer of that time could fit on the palm of my hand, I could not believe it. Hello everybody, my name is Enrique and welcome to the channel and today we're going to be unboxing and taking the first impressions of the Raspberry Pi 4. Let's start with the unboxing. Today we are fancy, we have two cameras right now set up. Hello. To make the unboxing, I never have made an unboxing before, so sorry if I suck at it. But today we're going to be unboxing, as the title of the video says, the Raspberry Pi 4 with 8GB of RAM. Let's start right here, this is the computer. One thing that I have to say already to start is that I don't like this package. I like it way more, the packaging that they used to use. It was well, like, a, like a small bag that was looking really good, really, I don't know, really original. This looked a little bit generic, you know, like every everybody uses. But anyway, open here. And here it is. You see, it's nothing fancy. This is the small little beast. There you go, guys. And to think that such a small thing is a full-on PC like you could have 10 years ago or something like that. It's, it's simply amazing. This is the CPU right here, I do believe, from Broadcom. It's an ARM-based CPU. Right here is the RAM memory. The one thing that I don't like about the new P4 is that you don't have anymore the HDMI port right here, the full-size HDMI port. But you have instead two micro HDMI ports that they can be able to give you two monitors at the same time, both running at 4K, 60 Hz. But we speak a little bit more about all the specs and everything that is with the Raspberry Pi a little bit later on in the video. Here is where you can put your SD card. Here are your ports, USB 2, USB 3, Ethernet. And this is the Type-C port for the power. I buy one complete kit. The kit comes with the Raspberry Pi 4. You also have power supply. Let's check it out. Yeah, it looks good with the Raspberry Pi, with the Raspberry Pi lower right here. Like I say, it's a Type-C and it is, if I'm not mistaken, uh, 5.1 volt and 3 amperes. Now the case. Like I say, I buy one kit and this came everything together with it. Uh, I think this case, I do believe that doesn't have any cooling for it. So in a project that I'm thinking to do in the future, I want to overclock it and I am going to need probably to put a cooler on. Let's open it up. That's it. It doesn't have any screws or nothing. You only have to set it up inside like this. Yeah, you don't really need the screws for this case. But like I say, I will have to look a way to put some cooling on it. Because probably in the future we're going to be uh, making an overclock. So let's see how this goes. Here is where you can see the case. Very good. I, I choose black. It's a little bit more discreet if you want to use it as a media center PC. Or even if you want to make a retro gaming machine, like I did with the Pi 3. If you didn't see it already, you can take a look at the video right here, or here, or somewhere. I never know where to put this. And now let's take a look at the specs, okay guys? Hey guys, on a small note, my YouTube statistics show me that over 80% of you are not subscribed to the channel. So, what are you waiting for? Click that subscribe button because every subscriber really helps a lot with the channel growth and to bring you more videos like this one. Now back into the video. Now the unboxing is done, let me tell you a little bit more about the Raspberry Pi 4. First of all, what is a Raspberry Pi? Well, it's as simple as a single board computer. That means that have all the same components that a normal PC desktop could have, but 
way more compact and power efficient. This small thing right here is able to give you PC desktop performance without even needing a fan. And it only requires, I do believe, is 13 watts of power. It's almost nothing. You can compare it with the computers that we used to have 10 years ago, except maybe for the clock speed of the processor. It has a 64-bit ARM Cortex-A70 CPU that is a quad-core running at 1.5 GHz, but will really help with CPU heavy tasks like, for example, game emulation. A video core 6 graphic processor unit that supports two micro HDMI ports. That means that it can drive up to two displays at 4K, my friends. And this GPU can also handle H265 4K 60 frames hardware decoding. This is great to use it as a media center PC. And it also counts with the Mesa V3D driver that is OpenGL accelerated. It comes with four variables, with one, two, four, and eight gigabytes of LPDDR4 RAM. Mine is the model that has eight gigabytes. And that pair with the quad-core CPU gives you pretty much, to tell you the truth, an entry-level performance desktop potential. It also has two USB 2 ports, two USB 3 ports, a USB Type-C port for charging, a microSD slot that is required to install the operating system because remember that the Raspberry Pi doesn't have internal storage. A gigabyte Ethernet port, dual band Wi-Fi and Bluetooth that it was greatly improved from the last model. A CSI connection. Something caught her. No, not that CSI. A CSI connection for the camera and a DSI display interface and they already know 40 pin GPIO header. GPIO! <laughs> and. <laughs> I cannot make a video like this. And you already know 40 pin GPIO header also present in older models. With the new CPU also comes the ability to use the 64 bit operating system. Just know that the Raspberry Pi doesn't come with any operating system included. You will have to go and download it from the official site. Link will be on the description down below. This only if you're going to be using the official Raspberry Pi OS. Or you can simply install any compatible Linux distribution on it. It's so simple as to mount the image of the OS into your micro SD card and place it in your Pi. I have so many projects planned for this right here. You cannot imagine it, guys. I'm thinking about, for example, making a retro gaming handheld or an ad blocker for your entire house. And that is only to name a few. The Raspberry Pi is also an amazing learning tool for Linux. If you have never tried and also if you are a veteran, creating and trying new ideas. And if you search in Google or in YouTube for Raspberry Pi projects, you are going to find tons of them to have fun with. So guys, I really hope you have enjoyed the first unboxing I do in this channel and the first impression of the Raspberry Pi 4. Stay tuned for projects that I will be making on this channel. Thanks for watching everybody, like the video if you like it, dislike if you didn't like it, and of course, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, and now, my friends, like always, see you in the next time, bye bye. Guys, I have made this video already 5 times. Three of them, I forget to click the record button on the camera. Please subscribe, my friend.